My name's Maddie. I'm from Barnwell, South Carolina. It's a little tiny town. My name is Zach Neron. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Jersey. One interesting thing about me, I really like socks. I have over 150 pairs of socks, like a clear tub bucket that's just slap dab full. I drive a BMW. Can you see them? Okay. They're purple and black. <laughs> I think I'm pretty fun, entertaining guy, pretty straightforward. Someone should date me because it's a lot of fun. I mean, if you want to have a fun time, you date me. What is one conspiracy you have? Oh my gosh, if you've ever heard of the Masons, so it's supposedly like a secret society of men, and I think they're evil. The Earth is flat. One conspiracy I have is the Earth might be flat. We'll be going to your ideal dates. My ideal first date with someone would be, one, she's blonde, I'm into blondes. If she's blonde, that's enough said. As long as she takes me to the bedroom after, I mean, it's pretty much set in stone. Something cheap that she's gonna pay for because fuck that, I'm not paying for everything. And if we're gonna end up dating, I know I'm gonna be paying for a lot. So she could take care of the first date. I would like to be a little drunk. Um, it's always more fun when you're a little drunk in bed. So, and I, it's almost a deal breaker if she doesn't take me to the bedroom after. Like the first date? I mean, yeah, that's how you know. Oh. If you, if you don't have sex on the first date and you're like, oh, I vibe with her, you go on a second date, then you have sex with her and you're like, wow, the second date was a waste. Like, think about it in your perspective. Like if you have sex with the guy the second date and you paid for it or some shit and they're like, wow, that was a shitty fucking sex experience. I can't believe I just wasted my money. So you like to like test out the car, like test drive yeah, it? Yeah, you gotta test out the product. So you look at women like cars? No, no, no. It's not, it's not more of looking at a woman like a car. You just got to test it out. Okay. You got to make sure, you know, everything works. So, like, where do you want to go? Anywhere you're paying for for the first date, I'm fine McDonald's. with McDonald's? I mean, I could go for some nuggies. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. As long as you get the Big Mac later, I mean, it's all good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, my yeah. ideal first date would be go to the beach, because I love the beach. Do you like the beach? I do. I surf. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. Um, I love the beach. I love to ride waves on my body. Just like chill on the beach all day long. I guess have a few drinks, I guess, because that's fun. Nothing later at night? <laughs> Depends on if I have fun with you in the water or not. What type of fun? <laughs> like riding the waves and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. You surf? You can teach me. Okay. You yeah. have a board? My board's pretty expensive. I don't really let people on it. Oh, uh, well then I guess you're not teaching me. Yeah. Right. Okay. I guess we know your perspective on hooking up on the first date. How do you feel about hooking up on the first date? Hooking, on the, hooking up on the first date, it depends on how the date goes. Because if, like, I'm really feeling you, then sure. But if I'm not, then mm -mm, no. Well, hopefully you're really feeling me. He seems a little bit freaky. He likes to have sex, <laughs> um, which is a little bit crazy. Other than she likes the beach, she wants to let the water ride over her. I mean, it's not much I could really go off of. Seems kind of nice, and he seems real cool because he surfs, but he didn't really want to teach me how to surf, so that's an issue. I like the accent. We'll say that accent's pretty cute, but other than that. He better answer these questions a little bit better than how he has been answering these questions. We'll have to see. Got to get to know her a little better, find out more about her, and just see how the rest of this goes right now. Nothing's really changing. My opinions will change on him if he answers the questions better than that. How long have you been single and what happened with your last? So I've been single for about a year now, maybe a little less. What happened with the last relationship was things got complicated. I thought we were on a break. We were not on a break. So I got with another girl. Then we came to college. She happens to go to the same college. We were trying to fix things within the first week. Then my cousin passed away. And then I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. You got to go. I got too much to deal with. So we just ended pretty badly. You're bad at communication? Very bad at communication. Okay. Oh my God, it's brutal. Same, honestly. <laughs> I've been single since the end of August and I was with this guy for almost two years. And then some stuff happened over the summer and then found out that he was like emotionally cheating on me with one of my best friends. So had to cut that off. Did you say emotionally cheating on you? Yeah, he caught feel like he didn't act like kiss her or like fuck her or anything like that. But he like caught feelings for her while we were were together. Did he do anything while he was with you or he broke up with you first? He hasn't done anything with her still, but he caught feelings for her, which is, mm-mm. Why have you done that? No, I just, I don't, I don't wanna, it's just, never mind. What's one thing 
that you want the other person to know about you? One thing I would like someone to know about me, you gotta like understand that like I'm busy half my life. Like I'm always out doing something. So if I'm not texting you because I'm out doing something, you're just gonna have to deal with it if you don't like it or not. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not gonna just sit there and be like, oh my God, I have to go to a party, so late. And I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm going to a party, see you later. Like, I'll talk to you, I'll let you know where I'm going, but mm -hmm. don't expect me to answer while I'm there. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, you did say you were bad at communication earlier, so that's fine. Very bad. Something I want you to know about me is I'll follow you around like a lost puppy dog at like the bar or something. I'll just follow you around like crazy. Go on base off that. So when you're at a bar and you're in a relationship, how do you feel like you should act? I know it's just on top of each other. All of, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Yeah. No. When I'm at the bar, I like to dance and like have fun with my friends. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Don't really care. Just like if you're going to go with me, leave with me. But like we don't really have to talk to each other that much. I don't care. Okay, so you, like if we were at the bar together and this girl started flirting with me, you'd be fine with me like flirting along with her just to get a free drink or something? Yeah, of course. Get me one too. Okay, word. At it, please. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. Only if you're okay with that though, back. Like that same thing. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Okay, perfect, perfect. Again, get me a drink too. Okay, okay. If you were in a committed relationship, what would you consider cheating? So what I would consider cheating in a relationship is like the physical act. Like if, if I caught feelings for another girl and I broke up with you and I was like, listen, I'm breaking up with you because I realized that I liked someone else. Obviously, you're not meant to be with that person. So I would straight up be like, yeah, like I like this person, then I'd leave. Then if I do something, it's not cheating. So right. but if you do the physical act beforehand, then yeah, it's cheating. I would say cheating in a committed relationship is catching feelings for another girl while you're in that relationship because you were giving her your time of the day instead of giving me your time of the day, like relying on her for more of like the emotional aspect or like the physical aspect versus your girlfriend. Instead of just like straight up communicating, like you said, you would break up with her first. That wouldn't be cheating. Going back to what you said, you said if I'm giving another girl more attention. I have like 10 really close friends and they all happen to be female uh, for certain reasons. Uh, okay. So if I'm like snapping one of them, would you be mad about that? Or would you, you know, they're just my friend. Well, as far as you like, know, they're just my just friend. Just a Snapchat is just a Snapchat. Okay. Uh, it depends on how close. I would have to fill it out. Like if the vibes are like they're flirting with you, and you could tell they want you and you're just being dumb, then I'm like, mm, okay, this is kind of weird. Well, what if I just have a very flirty personality and that's how I talk to my friends? I, I don't know. <laughs> if you got into a big fight, how would you go about resolving it? If we got into a big argument, we would resolve it by fighting it out. We would take time to be like, oh, maybe I was wrong or like I was right the whole time and you were just being stupid. We were to get into a fight, I would resolve it by just being like, okay, you're right, okay, you're right. You know, <laughs> kind of what I do to my grandparents, like, okay, gotcha, okay, gotcha. Because women have to be right. Yeah, so you'll right. never win if you keep fighting with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could shit talk how wrong they were behind their back to your friends and be like, dude, she thought she was right, she was just wrong, but I would just okay her to death. <laughs> but you wouldn't like state the way you feel or anything? I don't think you would listen. Most hmm. women don't, they pretend to. I would say I would listen. You can say that, but when we get into a fight and you're just like, no, you're wrong, no, you're wrong. But if you're making a valid point, I would be like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. I could be making a valid point, but women in the moment of a fight just have to be right. So I would maybe bring it up to you later and be like, hey, just reflecting, you know, this is my point that I was trying to make, but like it wasn't worth arguing because you were in the I'm right mindset. So. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. What's a red flag you see in a girl? A red flag I see in a girl. I don't know, I don't really have too many red flags because anything that a girl's been through or done, I've probably done too. So I don't really see many red flags. I just see the green flags, you know, the go to the bedroom flags. That's what I see. <laughs> Some green flags are if like she wants to go to the bedroom on the first night or if she's blonde, blue eyes, instant green red flag or green flags. I'm open to finding out who a person is first before I label any red or green flags. So you like blondes? Yeah, I love blondes. They have the most fun everywhere so so you don't have anything that's like mm, don't do that okay if you drive like a bu a pink buggy with the fucking eyelashes red flag 100% <laughs> red flag a red flag for me would be that you don't like the way me and my best friend act together if you sit there and you're like you act too crazy with her or something like that then i'm like mm -mm, can't do that or when like you say you hang out with your friends too much Mm-mm. I don't like clingy. Clingy is not for me. I agree. Clingy is definitely not for me either. So what are two things you hate about your ex? Two things I hate about my ex. One, that he had a girl best friend. 
And he really liked to tell his family everything that was going on, like all the tea, and I didn't like that. Two things I hate about my ex, probably that she was so close with her family. So like her family knew everything. Like the first time we fucked, her mother came up to me the next morning and was like, you fucked my daughter last night? I was like, whoa, what? So. What about like, I get not being close to the parents, but what about like your siblings? Yeah, my brother is probably my best friend. Like, okay. honest to God. The second thing that, that was terrible about my ex was how like boring she was. Like I'd come over to her house and be like, yo, let's go do something. And she'd be like, nah, let's just sit in bed all day and watch a movie. <laughs> and it's kind of just like, eh. So you like to go out and do stuff? Yeah, I like to be active. Like go play pickleball or something like Definitely that? Definitely not playing pickleball. Um, but <laughs> going out, like t you said, to the beach would be nice. Mm -hmm. Going to the movies okay. for a little bit and going out on a dinner or something. Something nice. Okay. You're going to pay for it or me? Or we'll like split it in half? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, okay, I like that. When and how did you lose your virginity? I don't really want to go too deep into this, but I lost my virginity when I was... After eighth grade, the summer of eighth grade, going to freshman year of high school, I got drugged. It was not consensual. So that's how I lost my virginity. Wow. Yeah, pretty deep, right? Yeah. I lost my virginity to my first boyfriend, I guess, my ex. We just fucked in a car oh. for the first. Windows got all foggy? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they have to, right? If not, then he was doing something wrong. Yeah. What model car? It was actually an Acura TL. I drive a BMW. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't drive that anymore. I wrecked. Well, I didn't. Well, yeah, I wrecked it. What do you drive now? A Nissan. Nissan Rogue. Nissan. Pathfinder. Pathfinder? Oof. Mm -hmm. It's a mom car. Would you fuck in a BMW? Yeah, sure. Why not? Put down the seats. I mean, there's a lot of room. It's a five series. It's a family <laughs> car. It's a family sports car. So. Okay, sounds fun, I guess. Only with foggy windows, though, right? Definitely foggy windows. Okay. No foggy windows. Something's wrong. <laughs> I like to be able to draw a penis on the window afterwards, you know? What is your body count? My body count, I was actually going through this yesterday with my roommates, listing off every girl. I thought it was 30, 31. Uh, after listing everyone off, it's 35, really? official count. Okay, that's good. Body count is five. I'm a re reuse, recycle kind of person. So what do you think about someone with a high body count? Like, uh, you do you, I guess. You don't think it means that they're like a, a whore or something like that? If you like fuck someone different every night, then yeah. But if it's like... I wouldn't say every night. <laughs> Just most nights? <laughs> Not most nights, but like once a week. Okay, yeah. Doesn't matter, I guess. What is the freakiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom? <laughs> I'm not a freak at all. I'm very vanilla. Pillow princess. Would you be open to doing stuff that's a little more freaky? Like what? Well, where do you draw the line? Let's start there. No anal. Okay. I'm, I'm in agreement with that, so uh, no complaints here. Freakiest thing that I've done in the bedroom was let her tie me up. God, was that a mistake? Holy shit. Uh, that was an experience. We don't have to get into it, but yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Would you let me do that to you? God, no. After the first experience, never again. It's traumatizing. <laughs> what do you think the other person looks like? What I think the last person, uh, the person next to me looks like, I hope is blonde. I can't tell. Definitely southern look. I can tell from the accent. Other than that, not much. What does a southern look mean? <laughs> yeah, please. I don't know. I picture like... cowgirl boots, a hat. I don't know. I picture she's good at riding, too. <laughs> Guess you'll have to find out. Hopefully so. <laughs> I think he looks like, I can't tell if he's tall or short, probably medium. I hope he has straight teeth or at least white teeth. If they're yellow, then mm -mm. I think you're a brunette and you probably have like longer hair. It's either buzzed off or long and you have brown eyes. As of right now, what I think about her is she's giving me a little bit of like vanilla vibes. Like she, like she said, she's not really freaky. He's real freaky, I can just tell. I don't know if that's like a turn off or a turn on. I mean, she said she'd be open to experiment with some stuff. I don't know how well we would match. Feels kind of awkward. So I'd be interesting to know what kind of stuff she'd be interested in experiencing with. He just keeps talking about fucking and... Based off her answers, I could tell that she's kind of like a little sheltered, like in her shell. Like she's had five bodies. Gotta get a little more experienced. His intentions are to be in my bed tonight. I mean, yeah, they went from not really having much to like now I can kind of base it off and kind of say that like 
I'm kind of picking up who she is. No, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> and kind of picking up like what she likes to do, where she likes to go, and what she pictures in the guy. And you don't really ask that many questions. What's your ethnicity? I'm white. What's yours? I'm Italian and I'm Canadian. Do you like cats? I am a cat, but I also, I am a cat huh? person, but I also. <laughs> <laughs> Almost caught me slipping up there. I am a cat person, but I have a husky at home, so oh, I think okay. I'm more of a dog person. Okay, I have a, a little cat named Sam. He's so cute. You have him here, like, with you? Yeah, he's back at my apartment. Oh, nice. What's your daily diet like? Let's see. I eat a lot of sweets. I love chocolate and cake and brownies and cookies. I bake a lot. Do you like sweets? Depends on what type of sweets. What do you mean? Like, healthy sweets? No, like, I like brownies, cookies, pussy, stuff like that. <laughs> I like carbs a lot. I can eat a lot, but not really. What's your daily diet? I have like one or two meals a day, consists of like chicken or pizza or some shit like that. Did you say anything rancid today, like real bad, that's just like, oh. <gasps> no, not really. Not that I think about. Did you lie about anything? No, I'm a straightforward, honest person. Okay. Have you lied about anything? No. <laughs> Was that a lie? No, I don't lie. So my final thoughts is everything that she said seemed nice. She seems like a nice person. He seems nice, I guess. Real chill and chillax. Not crazy. I'm a little worried about one of the questions I asked that she answered with. I do like the fact that she's a baker. Can't complain when you come home to cookies. You seem to be real interested in like looks and stuff like that. But And he likes blondes, not blonde. I don't know. Right now, I still have mixed feelings, but uh, I'd be interested to get to know more. He made me giggle, which was good. Um, some people don't really make me giggle, like, laugh. I went from thinking that not going to be much about her that I like to kind of like some of the shit that she's been saying. I didn't really like what he said about the emotional cheating thing, because, like, I've had that happen. I guess he's never had that happen to him. She seems pretty fun. She seems like a straightforward person. So, like, for him to say that's not cheating is kind of like, mm, it is, but it's fine. We'll talk about that. Uh, my intentions with her, I mean, I guess only time will tell that. Yeah, on the second date, I guess. <laughs> Take your off. Three, two, one. Oh, hey. Uh, Hi. Oh. I'm Zach. I'm Maddie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Not blind. Yeah, noticed, Burnett. Ugh. Big turn off. Yeah, <laughs> really is, unfortunately. Sorry. That's okay. I like the eyes though. You have nice eyes. Thank you. Thanks. Anything? Am I as tall as I thought, as you thought I would be? Honestly, yeah, because you weren't really given like big vibes. Like I wasn't giving big vibes. No, but you do seem kind of cocky. Okay, I'll take it. That's a good thing. People's perspective on you is only, you know, your own perspective. So yeah. if I want to seem cocky, I'll seem cocky. Mm. Did you want to seem cocky today? I just wanted to see myself. Oh, okay. So what do you do? <laughs> I'm in culinary school for baking and pastry. Oh, uh, okay, that, that makes sense. What do you do? Uh, I go to Coastal Carolina University. I play hockey there. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know anything about hockey. I ain't gonna lie. What sport do you know? Pickleball? Yeah, I know pickleball. I played volleyball <laughs> for six years. I know basketball. I know And softball. you like the beach and you don't surf? I don't live at, well, I live at the beach now, but I didn't grow up on the beach. But if you go to the beach, you, you say you like to ride the waves. Like, well, what yeah, do you ride on? A boogie board or my uh, body, like. Body surf? Yeah. I, I could stand behind that. Would you go on a second date? Three, two, one. No. no.